speakers were gone. What could it mean? Stanley decided to go to the meeting room. Perhaps he had simply missed a memo. When Stanley came to a set of two open doors, this was not the correct way to the meeting room, and Stanley knew it perfectly well. Perhaps he wanted to stop by the employee lounge first, just to admire. Ah, yes, truly a room worth admiring. But eager to get back to business, Stanley took the first open door on his left. Stanley was so bad at following directions, it's incredible he wasn't fired years ago. Look, Stanley, I think perhaps we've gotten off on the wrong foot here. But in his eagerness to prove that he is in control of the story and no one gets to tell him what to do, Stanley leapt from the platform and plunged to his death. Good job, Stanley. Everyone thinks you are very powerful. All of his co-workers were gone. What could it mean? Stanley decided to go to the meeting room. Perhaps he had simply missed a memo. When Stanley came to a set of two open doors, this was not the correct way to the meeting room, and Stanley knew it perfectly well. Perhaps he wanted to stop by the employee lounge first, just to admire it. Wow. Yes. This room. But eager to get back to business, Stanley took the first open door on his left. Stanley was so bad at following directions, it's incredible he wasn't fired years ago. Look, Stanley, I think perhaps we've gotten off on the wrong foot here. I'm not your enemy, really, I'm not. I realize that investing your trust in someone else can be difficult, but the fact is that the story has been about- What? Really? I was in the middle of something. Do you have zero consideration for others? Are you that convinced that I want something bad to happen to you? Why, I don't know how to convince you of this, but I really do want to help you, to show you something beautiful. Look, let me prove it. Let me prove that I'm on your side. Give me a chance. Now listen carefully, this is important. Stanley walked through the red door. Aha, perhaps you misunderstood. Stanley walked through the red door. I still don't think we're communicating properly. Stanley walked. All right, fine, go ahead, Stanley. You want to know so badly what's out there? You want to find out what lies at the end of this road you've chosen? Well, don't let me stop you. You see, there's nothing here. I haven't even finished building this section of the map, because you were never supposed to be here in the first place. Broken rooms, exposed developer textures. Is this what you had wanted? Was it worth ruining the entire story I had written out specifically for you? Do you not think I put a lot of time into that? Because I did. And in the end, it was all for nothing. Because this is what you wanted to see. Help me here, Stanley. Help elucidate these strange and unknowable desires of yours. What would have made this game better? What did you want to see? Vehicles? Skill trees? Work with me. You've given me absolutely nothing so far. Tell you what. Let me take a stab in the dark at a new design and you can give me some feedback. There we go. A third option. This already feels leaps ahead of where we were before. Go ahead, Stanley. Take it for a spin. Okay, I'm going to stop you there. Now, tell me about your experience with this new version. Would you say that the game benefited from allowing you more choices? Feel free to be honest. I'm looking for some real critical feedback here. A one? I mean, I can understand if you had reservations, you saw ways the game could be improved to more fully express itself mechanically and artistically, but a one? That's not even helpful. What am I supposed to do with that? Uh, but I guess it isn't my place to judge. Here, based on the data from your previous playthrough, I've compiled a new version. And to be perfectly candid, I think I've knocked it out of the park with this one. Let's take a look.
Now, would you say that competitive leaderboard helped you feel motivated to keep walking through doors? Again, honest answers, please. Hey, I nearly forgot. I've got a prototype of a new game I've been working on, and now would be a lovely opportunity to give it some playtesting. You wouldn't mind taking a look at it, would you? Perfect. Let me boot it up. In this game, the baby crawls left towards danger. You click the button to move him back to the right, and if he reaches the fire, you fail. It's a very meaningful game, all about the desperation and tedium of endlessly confronting the demands of family life. I think the art world will really take notice. But of course, the message of the game only becomes clear once you've been playing it for about four hours. So why don't you give it four hours of play to make sure it's effective? Be sure to keep notes on your experience. You heartless bastard! Did you do it because you hate babies or purely to spite me? Because if it's the latter, well, I don't know what to do. I'm completely out of ideas. I can't think of a single thing that might improve the experience for me. I'm not even going to try. I'm out. I'm out. I'm done. It's over. Thank you for playing. Your input was extremely valuable. Oh, hey, since my game was so awful, why don't we play someone else's game? Just to ease the pain. Let's see. What do we have here? <coughs> yes. This seems like it'll work. Let's give it a shot. Aha! Fascinating. What do you think this game is about, Stanley? What's our backstory? What is our motivation? Hmm. Well, it seems obvious to me that you are meant to play as a creepy man spying on innocent civilians below you from up high in your creep tower, perhaps for some sort of twisted erotic purpose. Hmm. Yes, that must be it. What a fascinating venture into the experience of total mental depravity. So far, I love everything about this game, Stanley, and it seems there's even more. Come, let's venture outward and see what else is out there. Oh, no. No, 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 it can't be. It is. It's an open world game. Good God, quickly, block it off. Oh, thank goodness, Stanley. What a close call. You nearly wandered off into that, that thing, that big open, just wandering around, no right or wrong directions, no path to follow. You can just go in any... Ooh. Oh, thank heavens we avoided it. We're out of the woods now, Stanley. Okay, I'm going to get us out of here. Let's find another game. Preferably something with walls. Something with nice, big, insurmountable walls. <laughs> okay, I think this will be just the thing. Wonderful. See, this is exactly what I had in mind. Just a nice big box for you to run around in. There isn't any possibility that you could get lost here. Now this is game design. Stanley, if you manage to get lost in this game, I will be phenomenally impressed. Okay, so what exactly do we do here? Let's see. There are lots of cars here in the back, but obviously there's no racetrack. Okay, I'm seeing that there's a ball of some kind back here. Is this game sports ball? Stanley, I think it's sports ball. Oh, what fun. We shall run the bases and do a touchdown together? Yes, I think surely we must. Okay, Stanley, here's the ball. Have fun. Hold on, what are you doing? Stanley, don't do that. I can't follow you there. I can't help you. How will you write a story without me? You can't do it. You know that. Stanley, come back.
I wonder what he found. If what he wanted was to be the leading man in his own story, well, perhaps he's gotten it, down in wherever he is right now. I wonder if he's happy with his choice, and if he's learned the heavy cost that comes with it. He'll understand soon what I was trying to tell him. He needs me. Someone who will wrap everything up at the end, to make sense out of the chaos and the fear and the confusion. That's who I am. That is what I mean to this world. Oh, yes. Yes, I'll be back. There's no other way. Once this ends, after it all comes to a close, then I'll be back. The end will be here soon. Very soon. I can wait. All of his co-workers were gone. What could it mean? Stanley decided to go to the meeting room. Perhaps he had simply missed a memo. When Stanley came to a set of two open doors, he entered the door on his left. Yet there was not a single person here either. Feeling a wave of disbelief, Stanley decided to go up to it. Oh, no. Oh, no, 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 no. I won't be part of this. I'm not going to encourage you. I'm not going to say anything at all. I'm just going to be patient and wait for you to finish whatever it is you enjoy doing so much in this room. Please take your time. Coming to a staircase, Stanley walked upstairs to his boss's office. Stepping into his manager's office, Stanley was once again stunned to discover not an indication of any human life. Shocked? Unraveled, Stanley wondered in disbelief who orchestrated this, what dark secret was being held from him. What he could not have known was that the keypad behind the boss's desk guarded the terrible truth that his boss had been keeping from him, and so the boss had assigned it an extra secret pin number, 2845. But of course, Stanley couldn't possibly have known this. Yet incredibly, by simply pushing random buttons on the keypad, Stanley happened to input the correct code by sheer luck. Amazing. He stepped into the newly opened passageway. Descending deeper into the building, Stanley realized he felt a bit peculiar. It was a stirring of emotion in his chest, as though he felt more free to think for himself, to question the nature of his job. Why did he feel this now, when for years it had never occurred to him? This question would not go unanswered for long. Stanley walked straight ahead through the large door that read Mind Control Facility. The lights rose on an enormous room packed with television screens. What horrible secret did this place hold, Stanley thought to himself. Did he have the strength to find out?
Now the monitors jump to life, their true nature revealed. Each bore the number of an employee in the building, Stanley's co-workers. The lives of so many individuals reduced to images on a screen, and Stanley, one of them, eternally monitored in this place where freedom meant nothing. This mind control facility, it was too horrible to believe it couldn't be true. Had Stanley really been under someone's control all this time? Was this the only reason he was happy with his boring job? That his emotions had been manipulated to accept it blindly? No, he refused to believe it. He couldn't accept it. His own life in someone else's control? Never! It was unthinkable. Wasn't it? Was it even possible? Had he truly spent his entire life utterly blind to the world? But here was the proof, the heart of the operation. Controls labeled with emotions, happy or sad or content, walking, eating, working, all of it monitored and commanded from this very place. And as the cold reality of his past began to sink in, Stanley decided that this machinery would never again exert its terrible power over another human life. For he would dismantle the controls once and for all. blackness, and a rising chill of uncertainty. Was it over? Yes! He had won! He had defeated the machine! Unshackled himself from someone else's command. Freedom was mere moments away. And yet, even as the immense door slowly opened, Stanley reflected on how many puzzles still lay unsolved. Where had his co-workers gone? How had he been freed from the machine's grasp? What other mysteries did this strange building hold? But as sunlight streamed into the chamber, he realized none of this mattered to him. For it was not knowledge or even power that he had been seeking, but happiness. Perhaps his goal had not been to understand, but to let go. No longer would anyone tell him where to go, what to do, or how to feel. Whatever life he lives, it will be his. And that was all he needed to know. It was, perhaps, the only thing worth knowing. Stanley stepped through the open door. Stanley felt the cool breeze upon his skin, the feeling of liberation the immense possibility of the new path before him. This was exactly the way, right now, that things were meant to happen. And Stanley was happy.